I was working on a different project at the time. So that I pulled some records from that project to incorporate on um, Take Your Time. And I feel like when I was able to do the song Help, because Help wasn't the first record, that was more towards the end. That was like the glue to me for the record. I was like, ah, I know. I got, okay, I know what this concept of this record is going to be about. Like, I, it, this is what I needed. This is what, I, what the record was missing. Because, you know, you're just doing songs and you're compiling a bunch of songs and then you're trying to make them make sense in the conversation that you're trying to convey. Uh, at least that's my process. And once, like, I, I got help, then I was like, okay. Then Take Your Time followed that, which was actually the lead track. And then I was in a space where I'm like, okay, now I can finalize and, and, and piece the flow of this record together so it was really help for me the big studio times are, are great but like being able to record in a space where i can create freely without somebody saying oh you should go this direction or oh you should go that direction uh it's probably the best part of the creative process for me but second to that was probably when i was working on dangerous uh the record dangerous on the album and uh, a big brother to me, um, producer Focus, uh, we were at the studio and, you know, this is all in growing. Like he's been he's been a great teacher in terms of uh, song creation process and, and paying attention to the little things in music that can bring out certain things vocally. And this was one of the one songs where he didn't really have too much critique on. It was just uh, bringing the the. Uh, the music down a certain like pitch like a couple cents and then that was it other than that he loved the record and i was like wow i finally reached a space where a legend like that is like okay cool no this is i, I like this record this record is, is where it needs to be and so for me that that showed to me a lot of growth within the time that i had been working and trying to build that project to reaching that point and that was also like towards the end of the project and that was a very special studio moment for me in terms of of that experience, for sure, working with Dre, man, it's like getting a master class in song creation process because he's so hands on in everything from the production of the record to the writing with the art with the writers and um, the performing and executing of the the lyrics with the artists to mixing techniques with the engineers. Like he's well versed in every process of the song creating process. So, and he's very detailed very detailed, very regimented. So being able to sit and witness him put songs together and then critique your songs and then help you perfect your process, man, it's like when I first met him, the very first day I got to meet him, I sat down and we, we worked on something. And again, I can, I can attest to that experience. Like he brings out things in you that you're not even really aware, like the detail in the certain timing of which you're delivering words, how you're delivering your words, the amount of times that you're stacking certain little accents and syllables, like it, and then it just makes you realize. I see why all of this stuff sounds so amazing because of the time that he takes in making sure that the song is put together in a way that is going to be best delivered to the listener. And I've definitely carried all of those things into my own music. I, I, I never approached music the same after that. It's like I pay attention to things now that I was never paying attention to prior to. Producer wise, I would want to work with uh, like the Warren Campbells of the world, the uh, Pharrells. Uh, definitely want to work with Pharrell. I just feel like Pharrell's so versatile and everybody he works with, he brings out something different out of them. Um, artist wise, right now, I would definitely want to work with her. I think we could create something super dope. Uh, Summer Walker, I definitely want to work with. I think she's super dope. I, I love how um, laid back and raw her music is. Um, who else? Who else out there, man? And just I just I just love making dope stuff. So anybody that's really you know that's I'm a fan of, like I just want to collaborate with at some point.